Okay, ladies and gents, so I want to talk to you about the Paolo Sousa situation with the Polish FA, because as your people know, Paolo Sousa, he basically wants to leave Poland's national football team, you know, as the manager, leave the position, because he's going to be managing Flamengo, and to be honest, I mean, I'm actually kind of glad he's leaving, because I personally was never a fan of the Paolo Sousa hiring, you know, I think this hiring was absolutely uh, not the best decision that the Polish FA has made for the Poland national team, because, you know, we're basically right now on almost the cusp of playing in a World Cup qualifying playoff game in um, in three months. So, you know, obviously we, we are now going to have to find out, you know, who's going to be the next manager of the Poland national team and all that stuff. And in my personal opinion, I think that us hiring Paolo Sousa was a mistake. It was a really dumb decision that the Polish FA made. And I don't understand why we hired him in the first place because now we have to deal with stuff like this because now he wants to leave, even though, you know, I'm, um, even though, I mean, I really don't care if he leaves, if, if I'm being honest here, it's just the timing of this is kind of, is kind of frustrating because it's like, you know, now, you know, this team is going to have to look for another, I mean, the, the, the FA is going to have to look for another manager, you know, and, you know, try and learn their tactics and all that stuff. And this could take like months for some players, even weeks, you know, considering the very brutal uh, football schedule that these guys have, you know. But uh, if we're going to hire a manager, can we finally do the right thing and hire a manager like Zidane? Can we please, for the love of God, hire a quality manager? Like this is what Poland's football team is lacking is a quality football manager. It's like, come on, like, heck, I, I, I would be all for us even getting Yogi Love, even though I don't think his tactics would absolutely work with us, you know, because, I mean, let's be honest, if his tactics haven't been working very well with Germany's football team, then what makes us think that his tactics will work with Poland's football team, even because we're not as good as Germany's football team is, you know, and all that stuff. But um, just uh, right now, Paolo Sousa leaving Poland, in my honest opinion, I personally, uh, I didn't expect this to happen because I thought he was going to be with us for the World Cup qualifying playoffs, but unfortunately, it looks like that uh, that's not the case anymore because he wants to coach Flamengo. And, you know, I'm just trying to figure out why, he, like, he now wants to uh, leave Poland's football team. Is it because, you know, he, um, he, uh, he just finds it very difficult to manage for Poland's football team. And, you know, he probably finds it way easier to be able to manage a football club like Flamengo, for example, and all that stuff. But in my honest opinion right now, I'm just, uh, I mean, if I'm being realistic here, there's probably a good chance we'll probably bring back a Navalka as manager. That's what I imagine from a realistic point of view that the Polish FA is going to do because with Navalka, you know, the players know him and his tactics, even though, you know, at the World Cup, we absolutely flopped with him. You know, I mean, we couldn't get anything going. And I'm just, I'm just, at the end of the day, I'm just hoping that, um, you know, we are able to find ourselves a manager that can, that, that, that knows how to manage and utilize the talent on this Poland team. Because my biggest, uh, the biggest downside about uh, us having Paolo Sousa as manager in my opinion, was just he didn't know how to manage players properly, you know, because under him, he himself even admitted that we were dependent on Lewandowski to help us win the games. And that's a recipe for disaster because then opposing teams will know that, hey, we're going to be trying to play the ball to Lewandowski because, because that's the only good attacking option we have on this team. And that's not really the way to go. You know, we need a manager that's going to know how to, you know, basically be able to help this team play some ultra attacking football because I would love to see this Poland team, you know, be able to play some ultra attacking football. That's in my opinion, what we need in order to succeed and produce results again on the international level. Something that we haven't done for the last, I have to say five years now, because after Euro 2016, we got, while we did produce results in the World Cup qualifiers, you know, at the end of the day, we had an easy schedule. And after the World Cup, we just absolutely fell off. And recently, it just seems like we've been struggling to try and produce results with, uh, you know, with Lewandowski and all that stuff. So right now, I'm just hoping that that we can get ourselves a manager that's going to know how to utilize this talent and more importantly, help Lewandowski thrive, you know, so that Lewandowski doesn't have to do everything, you know, and that is, you know, defending, passing the ball, because whenever we play games, it always seems like uh, 
Because whenever Poland's football team always plays these uh, international games, it always seems like that, you know, we're only dependent on Lewandowski to do everything, you know, for him to score a hat trick instead of us, you know, playing together as a team, you know, just uh, us being able to balance teamwork and all that stuff. Like, that's why I want to see us do, you know, be able to play as a team instead of us just being dependent on Lewandowski because that's not going to get us anywhere, especially at the World Cup. I mean, we already tried that in Russia and, you know, that was just an epic fail. You know, that's the best way that I can describe, you know, Know, Poland at the 2018 World Cup was just it, our World Cup um our World Cup hopes and dreams just turned into a big massive epic fail so I'm hoping we're not going to make the mistake we're not going to make the same mistake again if we do qualify for the 2022 FIFA World Cup at the World Cup in Qatar you know because right now you know the most important thing is we have to go through the uh, qualifying playoffs and all that stuff we're going to be playing Russia you know I think in their house at the World Cup qualifier so it's going to be a tough um tough challenge for us but you know it's not impossible i think we can get it done you know obviously it would have been a lot easier if we were playing in our house but unfortunately you know we just have to travel and all that stuff but uh at the end of the day man can we just please hire a quality manager like zidana because he's been linked with manchester united but so far it looks like that nothing to avail happened you know zidana hasn't been hired by manchester united so i think right now would be the best time for the polish fa to go out of their way and try and, and um and call Zidana, okay? Because I remember that I think back in 2016, Zidana praised uh, I think uh praised the um the Polish football league or what was it? I can't remember, but uh, I just know that Zidana he had a praise for I think the Polish league in terms of us producing talent or something like that. I can't remember because that was like a long time ago. But it just goes to show that hey, if if um that if if we have a great opportunity to hire Zidane, then go get him because I guarantee that if we hire Zidane, he will know how to utilize this talent. I mean, well, you know, I mean, obviously the only talent we really have is Lewandowski and Glick, but besides that, I still think we would able be able to produce at least respectable results under Zidane. You know, that's basically what I'm trying to say. So right now, all I have to say is if they could hire Z Zidane, then hey, that that would be absolutely a big, massive boost for Poland's football team. But what happened? Probably not. You know, probably there's a good chance that Zidane is probably going to want to, you know, take a break from from coaching and all that stuff. But uh, if we can just somehow get ourselves a quality manager that knows how to manage games and, and you know, and help us, you know, play together as a team, that that would be much, much a big boost, I think, for Poland's football team because under Paolo Sousa I mean let's be honest under Paolo Sousa we would definitely not be able to get a win over the top teams like Germany France uh Spain well with the exception of Spain we held them to a draw but uh, you know still with Paolo Sousa I feel like that at times we, we played very very inconsistent football you know our tactics just his tactics just absolutely did not work out at all that's the thing you know his tactics just aren't really that good in my opinion they they just don't uh they just don't work in terms of producing results, you know. So yeah, Paolo Sousa, he's gonna be uh leaving Poland's football team to manage Flamengo. And honestly, dude, I I mean I really am not bothered by that at all. So, you know, it's like I'm like, eh, whatever. Maybe now we can finally hire ourselves a quality manager. So yeah, guys, so that's the video here. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace.